This video is sponsored by Blair's Wire Bonsai Trees. For unique and personalized pieces of beauty and artwork, check out the link in the description and use coupon code BeastlyGamer for 10% off your order. What's up everybody, Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. I got a question for you. Are you guys interested in Until Dawn, the PlayStation 4 exclusive that will be coming out later on this month? Uh, I don't know. I really have been watching it. I've been watching the interactive trailers. If you guys haven't seen those, definitely check them out. They're live acted. There's a lady and you can click on the options on the YouTube screen and you'll, she'll do what you tell her to do. And it comes out to a different conclusion each time. I think it's really cool. Kind of gives people the idea of uh, what the game is all about. Now I've been watching uh, some of the, the actual gameplay of this game and I don't know what to think. I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic like I am with a lot of things, but I think I'm a little bit more op optimistic than I am cautious. I love the horror genre. When the horror genre is done right in anything, it always makes my day. But the thing is, very seldom is horror truly done right. You know, there's films out there that I feel are some of the best films that you could see, like The Babadook, that I feel is horror and suspense done right. Uh, films like Psycho, totally uh, engrossing experience. And, and if you're really into horror, you'd love a film like that. They make these horror movies now that are just BS, to be honest. Lots of jump scares every five seconds. And, and it's it, it's not even really a scare. It's more like just a, an assault on your senses. And it really pisses me off. And I'm wondering if this game is going to do a lot of that. I, I did see some jump scares in some of the early uh, gameplay footage. Well, I don't know. It might be footage of now. I think it's probably in the game at this point. I saw a jump scare where they walked up to a car and this mask popped out. And if the game is filled with that kind of stuff, I'm really not going to like it. I like real horror films, stuff that's going to really get your mind going and make you wonder what the hell is around the corner and really make you wonder. Very few, you know, directors are able to invoke that true sense of horror and fear. There's a movie that came out, uh, I want to say earlier this year called It Follows that was a really good horror movie to me. You know, of course, there were certain parts of the movie that could have been better, to be honest. But for the most part, I was constantly on the edge of my seat wondering when this thing was going to come around the corner. Uh, you'd always see it coming. I won't spoil any of that movie for you if you haven't seen it. But it follows as a very, very good movie. Check it out if you haven't. I'm going to probably pick this game up. Until Dawn uh, looks like... It's going to try something new. It's going the direction of Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls with the photorealistic characters. Uh, big environment. Of course, you're not going to be able to control everything you do. This is kind of a point and click adventure, but I do kind of like that. I would actually like playing those. I like the feeling of being able to control a real person. And of course, this game isn't photorealistic, but it's pretty good. Uh, as far as modern graphics go, Hayden Pintier, hmm, she's seen her better days back in Heroes. She's really not the biggest star in the world, but I guess she's thinking, you know, if Ellen Page can do it, she can do it. Ellen Page is by far a bigger celebrity. So if Ellen Page would do it, why not do it? And this game might actually be good. If you're into stuff like um, The Hills Have Eyes, if you're into films like Texas Chainsaw, the good one, uh, this might be up your alley, and I'll probably pick it up on release. You guys let me know in the comments... Is this game something you're looking forward to? Are you guys like me? Do you like horror films? Do you like real horror films? Stuff that really invokes your thought and makes you wonder and not this jump scare BS that they make so often nowadays? Let me know in the comments three of your best horror movies. Maybe I haven't seen them. If I haven't, I'd love to check them out. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Be sure to give a thumbs up. Show support of the channel. Let me know if you're going to be picking up Until Dawn on PS4 when it releases. And I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.